Hello, and welcome to another White Album 2 Drama CD Side Story. This is part of the Pillow Talk series, which was a drama CD featuring all five of the heroines. And just as the title insinuates, it's them in bed just kind of having fun, flirtatious pillow talk with, as you can probably guess, Haruki. So, this is Kazusa Thomas Pillow Talk, a faithful dog in a bad mood. What? No, I don't want to look at your face right now. Uh, no, I'm done. Uh, stop, I said. You think you can distract a woman that easily just by being a little forceful? Well, it didn't work. I'm not the kind of stupid dog who wags its tail right away just because you've suddenly shown up to take care of it after so long. The amount of times that Kazusa refers to herself as a dog and Haruki refers to her as a dog, I think one or two times is kind of like, oh, it's a cute comparison because she's so loyal and whatever. But the amount of times that it's done, just it kind of steps into like weird kinky territory. It's just a bit odd. I think it's a little bit overdone, but I don't know. I guess some people are into it. I, I'm a smart dog who won't accept anything less than all your attention. Uh, damn, it's been three days since I felt this sensation, the smell of you. I know you're going to give some excuse, like that you were busy with work, but it's been hard for me for the past three days, you know. It's possible to suffer even without taking a step outside the house. You weren't with me. I was completely alone the whole time. I felt like I might go crazy. <laughs> Three days. Three days without Haruki, and she's already going crazy. This is definitely not a super okay thing for her. You need to have enough hobbies and enough friends and enough work to be able to pull yourself through a whopping three days. No, that doesn't mean I'm going to go along with you. Not to Russia, of all places. Somewhere that cold and far away. It, hey, you're loosening your arms. You think you've won me over already? Why do you have to go that far away in the first place? Can't you just take work offers that are actually inside the country? Come on, there's no need to get any more famous. Which is a very causes a point of view, because... Of course, Haruki wants her known throughout the world. You know, that's one of the things that he and Kazusa's mom had been working towards. But to Kazusa, it's not really a big thing. Especially in Roots, where she ends up with Haruki, she doesn't really care how famous she gets. It's just kind of a side hobby. We can just make the minimum we need to eat and shut ourselves away at home otherwise. Wouldn't that be nice? You don't have to worry. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. That's the right I won. Even though I had to make her so unhappy in order to do it. I have that power. This is what my mother gave me. I'm deeply grateful for it now. The fact that whenever they're flirting too, both Kazusa and Setsuna each talk about each other and the pain that occurred in the past, like they cannot go five stinking minutes without mentioning the other girl. It is not healthy. Your arms are loosening again. Did you remember? Uh, yeah. Yeah, do that. You can't live without me, you know. Well, and I can't do anything without you, I guess. I yeah. Uh, I'm getting sleepy for some reason. Probably because... Even while you weren't here, I've been playing for 10 hours a day, just like you ordered me. Impressive, right? Praise me. And give me my reward while you're at it. Weird. Just, they talk weird. They talk weird like this, just, I don't know. It's like pet play, but it's also not pet play. You know what I mean? Like, they're not even in a scenario or a scene like that, and yet... It just kind of perpetuates throughout the whole storyline from so many different perspectives. And I don't, it's just weird. It's just weird. All right. How about this? While I'm asleep, keep holding me. I mean, the whole time. 
if I wake up and you aren't there, I'm not going to forgive you. He embraces her. This right here, being wrapped up in you, I love this feeling. Now I can finally relax and go to sleep. Yeah, good night. But we know whenever Kazusa says good night, it's never actually good night. Hey, you're not going to go anywhere anymore, right? N no, I'm not talking about business trips. You're mine now, right? Mine alone? Can I really trust you that easily? With just your mouth, you can say anything you want. Yeah. Then prove it to me with something other than words. But not just by holding me. I mean, something like, well, in other words, do it stronger, harder. Make up for the three days you haven't been here. Love me for three days and three nights straight. Do it until I give up and beg you to let up and put me to bed. Because this is so direct and so forward with her needs. It's like she was so reserved throughout introductory chapter and, you know, even arguably throughout the five years that during closing chapter and into CODA, she didn't say her own feelings for so long, except for that one tiny night, that now they're all just pouring out and she's just being as direct as possible to get what she wants. I'm sleepy, but what does that matter? Whether we sleep or do it, you decide. As long as I get to stay in your embrace the whole time, I don't care either way. Uh <laughs> oh, lovey dovey, lovey dovey. It's pretty cute. It still bothers me that even during times like this, she's still talking about the painful past with Setsuna. Like, obviously, it's going to come up because it was a traumatic experience between the three of them. But if you're like holding each other in an embrace and you're kind of on and off making love that night, like maybe you should just keep Setsuna's name out of your mouth. <laughs> just my opinion though. So thank you so much for joining me on Kazusa's little pillow talk story. And I will be back with the side heroines shortly after this. So until then, hope you take care. See you. <laughs>